got some pretty birds here. Hello guys and welcome to Animal Kingdom here in Disney World. So today is going to be a slightly different vlog. I'm actually going to take you on a what I eat in a day whilst on holiday in Disney World after 20 months of my gastric bypass surgery. Now I did this last time I went on a trip with Victoria back in February and you guys really really liked it. So I thought I would show you kind of what I'm able to eat, whether you're curious of getting a gastric bypass or you're just curious in general. Uh, because I don't, when I'm on these type of holidays, watch my calories or anything like that I do try and make some sensible choices sometimes but today I'm definitely planning on trying some delicious Disney foods here in Animal Kingdom and trying some treats and snacks so I'm going to take you on a full day of eating and speaking of eating I am absolutely starving because I had my morning coffee this morning by the pool which I've been making like every single day it's not the best but it does the trick and I usually have been making myself a little breakfast in the hotel room but we've run out of it so I haven't actually had breakfast today and it's currently lunchtime. The first part of call is actually to find somewhere to eat for food. It also seems like quite a quiet day here in Animal Kingdom apart from Flight of Passage but I'll also be sharing with you my gastric bypass update for those of you who have been following along and if you're not bothered about following along maybe you just want to come around and see Animal Kingdom at the same time. So this is kind of like a double vlog. Oh my gosh look at this over here. I thought the tree was moving but it's a person in the tree. What? I've not seen these in Animal Kingdom before, that's crazy. Anyway, the first part of call is to find somewhere to eat. So we're just going to stumble on somewhere. I also love going to the Starbucks and getting a cold brew, so I don't know if we'll stop her there along the way. But let's head into Animal Kingdom and get some food, shall we? On the way in, we're just looking at all the animals. There's a big, huge iguana here. Just like chilling at the back. Oh, it's absolutely massive. I don't think I've ever seen an iguana in real life before. It's actually called a rhinoceros iguana. Can you spot anything, Dean? Have you ever seen a duck this color before? It's brown and white. Oh, excuse me, mate. I think we're going to try Flame Tree Barbecue for the first time. But just over the way, they've got a performance on over here, just opposite. This guy is after someone's food, I think. He's like he's circling around all the tables waiting for some scraps. Matthew's food's just come out and it looks pretty good. You've got, what is that, pulled pork maybe? Yeah. Pulled pork with some like beans and some fries and pulled pork. That looks pretty sick. And this is what I've got. I've got the smoked house chicken salad, which I think actually looks incredible. Look at these big croutons. That looks very tasty. And then also a packet of fat-free ranch uh, dressing. And I think Dean got the same as Matthew, pulled pork or pulled chicken, pulled pork, and some fries. The good thing about salads is actually I can eat quite a lot of it, which is very good. Fries are really good. Ooh, yummy. It looks like chicken and cheese and lettuce uh, with a barbecue sauce. Let's try it. The chicken tastes nice and smoky. That is delicious. Mm. Yummy. Holy smokes. That salad was delicious, but I managed to eat it all. The one thing I have noticed, even since quite soon after my gastric bypass, is I've always been able to manage quite a lot of salad i think it's because i chew it a lot and it like basically goes down to like mushy water so it just slides right through there but i am honestly really really happy about that because i'd obviously rather eat a lot of salad and nutritious food than i would really bad foods but as you can see pretty much it all that i've just left two croutons in fact i might even eat one because these croutons are actually cornbread 
It's so tasty. It's got like a sweet taste to it. But yeah, can you show that? Very delicious and I was really hungry and now I'm really full. To be honest, truth be told, I've probably overstuffed myself a little bit. That's something I still struggle with, overeating. And then I start burping a lot and stuff. That's kind of a consequence on my bypass. And one thing that I'm really annoyed about that I forgot in this trip, I forgot to pack my doggy bags and my little collapsible storage container. So if you watch the one where I went away with Victoria, you will have seen we always carry like snacks in our bags, like nuts and um, oranges and apples and crisps and stuff that if we're in like the ride environment or whatever or we get dumping syndrome I, I actually suffer with something called late dumping syndrome which is reactive hypoglycemia so if I have something very sugary about an hour or two later I will start having kind of hypoglycemic symptoms and so having an orange or something to boost my blood sugars uh, helps me out so having them in my bag if I do have the treat uh, is very very handy so I always carry that with me but last Last time we were here, I made sure to carry a little collapsible container and doggy bags for times when I couldn't eat it all and I would box it up and have it maybe later on or for a snack and yeah, we would eat that but forgot it this time. Damn it, but never mind. Anyway, I'm going to eat this one last cornbread. Anyway, next up, we're going to go around Animal Kingdom and see what rides we can ride. Let's go, shall we? One thing we do keep in our bags though are these little squirty cordials. Ask for ice water whenever we go anywhere and we like just add these little dilutions in which is very very handy and it helps keep us hydrated and this is Dean's Hydroflow glass and it's literally amazing it keeps everything absolutely freezing cold and I've lost my pink one I had a doffer bottle and I've lost it but very very handy okay I thoroughly enjoyed flame tree barbecue that was the first time that I've ever went oh I need to put my teeth in I'm currently wearing Invisalign and I keep forgetting to put it back in. Anyway, we're heading just into Dinoland and I think the first ride we're going to ride is Dinosaur. really fun I absolutely love dinosaur I think it's class and um, anyway I was like like nearly lost my ears then though because like I forgot how like ferocious it throws you around anyway we are heading back towards Africa way and we are going to get a starbies because I am flagging a little bit so let's find a spot and go to starbies another critically endangered species with fewer than a thousand of these birds left in the wild which tells you that he is like, uh, only a couple years old but these so birds are about to take off on their next adventure so keep your thumbs up as they head off on their next flight wow. Oh my god, it was like, oh my god, Jesus. Thank you all so much for joining us. Wow, that was amazing, it was Enjoy. called Wing 
Bond Encounters and the, literally the birds swoop so low to everyone. How good is that, Dee? We made it to Creature Comforts to Starbucks and it smells amazing. I can smell the coffee already. Ah, oh, and there's no wine. Oh my God, this is epic. So my go-to why I've been here at the parks is this salted caramel cream cold brew and I got it in medium and sometimes I get it in small but I fancy something a little bit extra. This is delicious. Alright, I got my cream cold brew. This is so good. Actually, my favourite cold brew is actually the pumpkin cream cold brew and I also love the pistachio cold brew as well. It's really delicious. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Hopefully that should perk me up. But while we're drinking our coffee, I thought I would give you a little bit of an update. So for those of you who are maybe new to the channel, I have actually nearly lost 10 stone now. So the update is, I don't think I've shared this anywhere actually, but basically my starting weight was pretty much 22 stone. I'll put on screen what it is in pounds. So I'm pretty sure I actually exceeded the 22 stone mark, but I never actually seen it and currently before i went away on this trip i might have put on a couple of pounds while i've been here in florida um but before i left for this trip i was 12 stone four and actually the lowest weight that i've seen on the scale is 12 stone two so it's a total of like 130 odd pounds so nearly 10 stone weight loss which is crazy because I've, I've hit my first interim goal and my first interim goal was 12 stone seven and i'm 20 months post -op. i feel like my expectations needed reining in because i started to lose weight incredibly slowly particularly the last few stone that i have to lose has been the most difficult because i think now i can eat a much more substantial portion and if i'm wanting to lose a little bit more weight and get to my healthier goal i have to keep track on what i'm eating because it is easy to overeat on calories especially when i'm having like coffees that are quite calorific but while i'm on holiday it doesn't matter. I would like to get into the 11 uh, stone section. That was my second goal. I had three goals in total. One was 12 and a half stone, and my plan was to get to this weight and then evaluate what, how I felt and if I wanted to stay that weight or potentially lose some more. And I think I want to try my second goal weight, which is 11 stone seven. Uh, I think that's 150 something pounds. And then I have another weight, which is a really low weight, which I don't know if I'll ever get to, uh, which is 10 stone or 10 and a half stone but I'm just going to evaluate it see how I feel see how healthy I feel at the moment I do feel like I need to lose maybe a couple more pounds and I would like to get into the healthier BMI now I know BMI isn't the be all and end all or anything like that it just would be nice to see at the minute I'm at 26 BMI so I'm currently classes over it but everyone holds weight a lot differently. I also have some loose skin on my tummy. I have loose skin on my arms. I have to factor that into my weight as well. That is the current update for me. I will be doing a more in-depth gastric bypass update because I do have some health things, not really that bad for me, but I will be going into more depth about my gastric bypass and also my husband, Dean's gastric bypass, because he's lost 14 stone which is a lot of work, isn't it? And unfortunately, Dean has had a few gastric bypass related problems. So I will be doing a video in a few weeks time going into more depth about that and the journey we both have had because we both went through the same surgery, but we both had very different experiences. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, definitely stick around. Anyway, now I'm going to drink my coffee and then we're going to have some more exploring of Animal Kingdom and hopefully go on Everest. Also, if you are interested in the gastric bypass journey vlogs, I I have done a whole vlog series where I went to Lithuania and got my surgery and I've vlogged every single step of the way. I've done a whole playlist on the channel if you want to go back and watch that. Anyway, let's drink our coffee and head around Animal Kingdom. this crispy Christmas treat and it's got like sparkle sugar on and it's like one of those marshmallowy crispy treats and um, let's try it it's really heavy and dense I'm not gonna have much I'm just gonna have a ba uh, bite it was six dollars ninety one mmm smells like white chocolate so I can't eat many sweet treats but I like trying Dean's when he gets it, it smells like white chocolate is that what it is Dean? Mm, smells really good mmm 
Mmm, it tastes a bit like, yeah, white chocolate. You can taste, ooh, it's nice. This is like a sugary tart and it's just sugar. It doesn't have a flavor, I don't think. That's really delicious. Maybe I'll eat this here. Mmm, mm, I love the texture of it. If I eat any more than this, It'll make me a little bit bad. That's me done, but how tasty is that? I'm about to head on Kilimanjaro Safari and we are buzzing because I've never seen this before. 10 minute wait time. That was a very very fun experience. We got to see the lions asleep on the rock and we also seen like ry rhinos, giraffes, but it is really hard to get footage because it like rattles you around. Like they drive the cars properly, they're not on a track or anything. I remember when I first went on it I expected it to be on a track but they're not and the cars are quite rickety. I think it's about time we rode a roller coaster so let's head off to Expedition Everest and then it should be coming up for either a snack time or tea time so let's go shall we?
damn it. But look, we're at the Tree of Life, look how beautiful it looks. We just went by. <laughs> So let's go, shall we? motion sickness it started in Paris I always suffer from motion sickness anyway but uh, I noticed in Paris it seemed to be a little bit worse than normal anyway I'm gonna have a little bit of a break because I am getting a little bit of dumping syndrome guys this is what happens I start going <laughs> you can hear everyone's going off you start getting a little bit like shaky and um, I need something to eat so my blood sugars are a little low so I'm gonna have two little satsumas. All right we've been sat outside the Everest for literally about 10 minutes and I had my two oranges and I have to admit I feel much better now I think just a mix of the motion sickness again with because I'd had two bites of that big like marshmallow thing which has a lot of sugar in I do know how it affects me now and um, sometimes I even get a banging headache from having too much sugar as well and yeah which is a good thing in my opinion because I really struggled with like eating a lot of food a lot of sugar uh, definitely have like a, had a sugar addiction so having this kind of negative reinforcement really really helped me and one of the main reasons I decided to opt <laughs> decided to opt for the gastric bypass in the first place um, it stops me from kind of overindulging but I still like to have a treat it's just I have to mitigate the effects so it's still nice to be able to have like a treat and a try of Dean's food sometimes it doesn't affect me sometimes it does I think in this case it was a mix between the ride and the fact that I was getting hungry um, that it kind of affected me a bit more so I was like motion sick and needed some to eat but I feel fine now after having those two oranges and having a seat. Uh, we're actually going to meet up with my mum and dad and go for a meal uh, near one of the restaurants where we are. The good thing about staying off Disney property is you get to try all the different like American dining places. We were going to go to Pandora but I think we're going to skip that because we are getting a little bit hungry so let's head out of Animal Kingdom and go for a meal together shall we? How are you doing Dean? Ah, oh, you look beautiful! Oh, that is you 100% Matthew. Dean's just pointed out this hat and I think it's so cute. I don't know what this character's called but it's off Bambi isn't it? It's a skunk. Um, but look how cute it is. That'd be cute for like Flower and Garden Fest or something. I love the green. I've just seen a really cute pastel spirit jersey. We've got the teacups. It's kind of like Fantasyland. It's like dip dyed like a lilac and then it goes into pink. And it's all in the style of It's a Small World, like Mary Blair. And then on the back, look, 
It's like Mickey and Minnie on the castle in Fantasyland in the teacups. I also love Mickey over here having a good time in his little Spurs Mountain Troll. <laughs> you've just watched an episode of Naruto we've been literally we started Naruto from the beginning again and I'm so happy I actually Dean started it when he was in hospital um, a few weeks ago and then now I'm really buzzing because I've always wanted to like re-watch Naruto I've re-watched it a couple of times but not up to like as far as we are now and we're gonna try and watch all of Naruto and Shippuden anyway for those of you who don't know what it is it's basically an anime anyway can I just show you how cute this top is look at this I got it from the character warehouse at the vine vine yard premium outlets i think it's called and the back just has me on it how cute is this it's like a crop top i absolutely love it i got it for 34 dollars ah, stuck i got it for 34 dollars um, and it was like I think 60 or 70 dollars I got a bunch of May stuff actually but I thought this would have been a really cute outfit for the evening look Kingdom and we were going to go to Magic Kingdom I also got these from the character warehouse for 8 99 and they were like 35 quid May is I got a bunch of stuff and I did I even got a May fuzzy hat as well like look at this hang on I'll show you let me show you <laughs> I know it's not for everyone but look how cute is that? I'm sorry, well, this is a cute outfit, am I right? Look, I love it. And I actually tried this on in Florida when me and Dean went. <laughs> anyway, my mum and dad fancied pizza, which is just around the corner from here. Like it's literally within walking distance. So I think we're just gonna go for pizza. I will admit pizza is probably one of my least favorite things to have after bariatric surgery if I'm gonna have a treat. In fact, all bread. I can eat it, but it leaves like a really full, like overly full feeling in my stomach, but I still do enjoy it now and again. I normally can only handle probably about two slices of pizza unless it's like really, really thin crust. Um, but it's still nice to enjoy. That's one thing I actually do like. Like I feel lucky that I can actually still enjoy most foods but i do know how my body reacts to different things and i do get fuller on pizza and i do definitely not really choose pizza back at home we rarely eat it actually do we we don't really eat anything with pizza or bread and my food choices back at home are very different from being on holiday but i thought i'd show you because i know a lot of you guys if you are thinking of having bariatric surgery or you have had bariatric surgery um you might find it helpful to see what like kind of we eat on holiday and obviously every day looks completely different one thing i love and i really really miss every time i leave florida is the sound of the crickets everywhere it sounds so so pretty you can hear it on the night we've literally backed onto a lake there and you can just hear all the crickets and we don't get that in the uk do we but it just sounds so nice it just reminds me of florida holiday so here's our hotel the same in sonda and right opposite that's Giovanni's Pizza Place. And we also have Cracker Barrel. We actually ate at that Cracker Barrel the first day we arrived on the first Magic Kingdom day. So if you haven't seen the other videos and you've maybe just stumbled upon this one, definitely go check them out. They've been really, really fun. But we are heading to Giordano's, I think it's called. Wow, it's really cool in here. Look at this. Oh, it's Blues Brothers, Dad. Oh, shows you our best cheese pull. This reminds me of Japan when we used to get these cheese pull golden yen coins. So this is what they do, look at that pizza pie thing. There's like tomato sauce on top. And then I think that's meat and cheese. What on earth? So they don't just do pizza, they do samplers, chicken wings, chopped salad, Caesar salad, uh, chicken parmesan, sandwiches, classic Italian spaghetti. And on the front it does like deep dish. That must be that big one that I showed you. It looks really cool. So my house salad has come. This is only a side salad. This is like the smallest salad you can get. And it just said side salad, but it's perfect size for me. I've got the house salad it is. And it's just like a mix of olives and lettuce with some nice cheeses inside. Mom 
got the fettuccine. Was it fettuccine? Fettuccine with chicken and broccoli. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. It's a huge portion as well. Got fries. Oh, look at this cheesy bread with the marinara sauce. Oh my goodness, that looks incredible. I'm gonna try. Try some of this. Uh, yeah, I'll try. I'll try. I like trying. Everyone's oh just like goodness. a bite of it. But, but, oh my gosh, the pizza's cool. Oh it looks so good. God. Oh, holy moly, look at that. Wow. Thank you. We got pineapple and uh, roasted My garlic on here. And then this is what we're sharing. This is the Chicago special deep dish pizza and it's all layered differently. We've got pepperoni, mushrooms, cheese and then marinara on top oh my god that's incredible so what i tend to do uh, is i actually prioritize my veg and my salad before eating anything else so i normally eat all my salad or i'll at least eat half on my veg first then i'll move on to my protein but i have no protein on this meal so i guess i'll just try anything but i am gonna try a little bit of this cheesy bread this is cheesy garlic bread oh, that smells amazing i'm gonna dip it in the marinara sauce oh my gosh look at that Mm. That is the inside of my huge Chicago town pizza. Look at that. Holy smokes, what on earth? Let me try it. That's my meal. That looks salad with ranch and then the Chicago town. It looks like it's in pastry. Look, are you ready? Absolutely. I see why they call it pizza pie because this is pretty much a pizza pie. I just added some chili flakes on and it is so much nicer. I love it with a kick. All right, I've been defeated. Dean's going in for the biggest slice, but I ate about half of that, but it was very dense with mozzarella, which is obviously high in protein, which fills you up. And that's how much salad I managed to get done. Oh look, oh, I'm scared. Ah! No, I don't, I'm scared of them. They're really cute, but I'm actually like, I've got a phobia of them, even though I find them cute, but I don't like them hopping towards me. But it is a cute little. No, absolutely would not pick it up, Dane. Don't even tell me about that. The reason I really don't like frogs is because back in the 90s when ground force or garden force was a thing, everyone had ponds on the street and literally there was just frogs. So it was like this frog epidemic and they were just everywhere on the street and we've seen chopped up ones, squished ones in the road. I'd be like walking to school and then one would hop out in front of me. Oh, and I remember one time mum was cutting the grass and she had a strimmer and she was trimming the grass and the next thing I know she's screaming and a frog goes flying across the air and it like hits me in my face and she chopped the frog's legs off because she didn't see it in the grass oh and that's why I've now got like this like reaction to frogs they like freak me out so bad so yeah that's why I don't like frogs but I like I actually think they look pretty cute now I'm like a bit scared but I just don't like them like hopping in front of me do you know what I mean like I like looking at them if there's a glass screen and like <laughs> I like the design of them I even have a character called Froggo and Bear but actually physically in front of me I still have like one of those reactions where I like scream or something also when we were in Japan we heard a lot when we were climbing the Inari Shrine, we heard a lot of bullfrogs and they sounded like warthogs. I wonder how big they were, like proper Japanese bullfrogs, they proper made like a sound, it was brilliant, didn't they? I thought it was, can you remember when I thought it was a wild boar and I thought I was going to get eaten alive? <laughs> really, really funny that day. I absolutely loved it. If you haven't seen the Japan vlogs and you like travel vlogs, we've got a whole Japan travel series. It was so fun, wasn't it, Dean? And we went to Tokyo Disney, Tokyo Disney Sea on our adventures. Please give this video a like because it really does actually help us out, apparently. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Bye! Thanks so much for watching. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye!